of our God. Praising the Lord. Praising in the firmament, praising. The recording has started. In the firmament of his power, praising the Lord. Praising in the sanctuary, praising in the firmament of his power, praising the Lord, praising in the sanctuary, praising. In the firmament of his power, to the Lord who want to worship the name of the Lord, who want to adore him, giving thanks unto the Father. Who had made us to the partakers of the inheritance in life, who have delivered mm -hmm. us from the powers of darkness, powers of darkness, and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. The Bible says, in what we are, we are, we are, we are <laughs> open your mouth, worship, glorify him, honor him, exalt him. God, everlasting Father God, I give you all the glory, Lord. Father God, I honor you, Lord. I exalt your name. Mighty God, everlasting Father, omnipotent God, omniscient God, the everlasting Redeemer, the God that never lose any single battle. Lord, I want to praise your name tonight, oh God. Lord, I have come before you once again to appreciate you because you are the almighty. You are the almighty God. Nobody can contend with you. Nobody can compete with you. Nobody can withstand your power. Almighty God, you are the creator of the heaven and the earth. You are the almighty God, the governor there of the entire universe. Oh Lord, unto you shall all flesh come. And that is why we have come tonight to worship you. Amen. Psalm 124. Been the Lord who had been on our side. Now may Israel say, it had not been the Lord was on our side when men rose against us. When men rose against us. Sometime, like uh, an experience I had last night, I, I shared it in my 4 a.m. prayer that we usually have with a particular um, group since last year. And it has been a consistent prayer by 4 a.m. And I was sharing with them this morning of how it's like. You know, enemy coming against me, and you know, sometimes it's not even worse now. And I will just say it in the dream. Mysteriously, they can't just get me. Mysteriously, I will just escape. And then the one of last night, how did it look like? It's like I developed a wing, like an angel flying the air, something like that. It's looking so real, but I don't even know because I don't know how to narrate a dream. But all I just discovered was that they couldn't apprehend me, whether gone or something like that. There was a time again. It was like an assassin being sent in the dream. And all that, but all the same, they can't just catch me. I have understood that my life is still in Christ. I have understood that my life is still in God. If they cannot kill God, they can't kill me. If they cannot kill Christ, they can't kill me. If they cannot tamper with the Holy Ghost, they cannot touch my life. I have understood that my life is permanently in Christ. And if it had not been the law, Scripture say that the enemy would have dealt with all mercilessly. We want to thank God for we not being. Look at it here in verse 5. Look at it. It says in verse 5. Is it verse 5 now? Uh, no, verse 7. Our soul is escaped as a bed out of the snail of the fowler. Hallelujah. The snail Amen. is good. have escaped. This is exactly yeah. what I'm saying. I have escaped in the dream. I have escaped. And es in fact, Escape! They cannot touch. They cannot touch me. We want to give thanks to God for our God has just been dead day in and day out. In that day, in the night, 
the Holy Ghost has been there, the guide and the girl have been there, the Almighty God has been there. Let's worship the name of the Lord. Let's give Christ thanks unto the Lord. Everlasting Father God, in the name of Jesus, Let's thank Him for protection. Let's thank Him for protection. Everlasting Father, Almighty God, Omnipotent God, Everlasting Redeemer, thank you once again because even to you have assisted and helped us, O oh God. Thank you because of the power of your grace in our soul. Thank you for the way you have been sustaining us. Thank you because our soul is escaped from the snare of the fowler. Thank you once again, O oh God. Despite all the opposition of the enemy, Lord, we thank you because our life is hid with Christ in God. Thank you, my Father, once again, O oh God. We are covered by the blood of Jesus. We are preserved by the power of your spirit. The Bible says by the power of God through faith unto the salvation ready to be revealed in the last time. Father, we honor you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 This is first up we are meeting. We are using Ephesians chapter 5. And I hope we can exhaust everything as I bring down the prayer point one by one. In Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1, be ye therefore followers, followers of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also had loved us, and had given himself for us as an offering and a sacrifice to God for his sweet smelling savor. I want to pray and say, Father, we need grace to follow God as his dear children. The grace Mighty to follow God, God everlasting Jesus. Father, God, okay. in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, everlasting Father, God, the grace I need to follow your dear child, to follow your own dear children, oh God. Give the God of heaven, my Father, God, to follow you in the day, to follow you in the night, to follow you when it is easy. To follow you, Lord, it is to follow you, Lord. May the Lord not to deviate. True and true to follow you, Lord. No matter the opposition, me to follow. So let's love them, asking, O God, O God, to be able out, O God, to be able to follow you all through, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. No matter the challenges of life, oh God, my Father, God, help me to follow you steadfastly in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, give me the grace to follow you perseveringly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, help us, oh Father, once again, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Verse 3, but fornication and all uncleanness. Or covetousness, let it not be one's name among you has become a sin. Neither filthiness, nor, nor foolish talking, nor jesting which are not convenient, but rather giving of time. We want to pray and say it will not be. Our record, our lifestyle will not be tarnished with fornication. It will not be said of any of the pastors on the platform, oh, he has gone into immorality, God forbid. We will not be crying and weeping over every, any pastor. Oh, that have been defied by a girl, defied by a lady, defied by a maid. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, the Lord will keep us from falling. The Lord will help us to be watchful, vigilant, and sober. No pastor will fall into fornication. No pastor will fall into adultery. No pastor will fall into uncleanness. No pastor will become covetous, thereby, oh, God, you know, drooping members of the church, thereby going into feudiness, thereby going into foolish talking, thereby going into jesting like comedians and the rest. In the name of Jesus, feudiness shall be far away from all. Let's talk to God in prayer, pastor. Let's cry unto God and say, oh, God, Defying men will not be seen. The Bible says, Blessed are the undefined in the way. Our life will be a blessed one. We will be undefined day and night. Fornication will not defile us. Adultery will not defile us. Uncleanness will not defile us. Covetousness will not defile us. My God, filthiness will not defile us. Foolish talking. There are talk that we call foolish talking. There are talk that we call foolish talking. There are foolish talking. Oh God, we will not be defied by foolish talking. We will not be defied by jesting. 
Do you know they are pastor? They will say something, and then after saying it, and they were just joking. Now joke, Adeo. They joke a lot. They play a lot. They tell lies in joking and all that. And later they will say, "Oh, I was just joking. Joking with lies. Joking with this and all that." We will not be defied by jesting. Let's talk to God in prayer and say, "Oh God, cleanse all poor joy where we are." you know, done all of these things. Let there be cleansing by the fountain of the blood. Let there be purging. Let there be purification. Are you praying, Pastor? Are you praying, leader? Are you talking to God in prayer? Are there people in the Lord? Are there people in the Lord? Cleansing and purging. Everlasting King of Glory. Mighty King of Glory, that will help me, O Lord, by your grace and power. Lord, that I will not fall into evil. Lord, that your grace will uphold us, your, your grace will be sufficient unto us, O oh God. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, righteous God, I'm asking my Father God, the strength and stability, O oh God, in the Lord Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father God, impart into us, O oh God, that none of us will fall into sin. None of us will be an icon in the church of the living God. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh dear Father, we have gone far, oh Lord, Apostle God. It remains just a little while before we see the Lord, oh God. Mighty God, I'm asking that to strengthen us, Apostle God, to overcome amen. every temptation of the flesh in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Are you, are you with me? Amen. Amen. Verse 5 For this year, know that no longer non clean person or covetous man who is an idolater are any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and our God. We know that we don't want to miss heaven, we will not be a womonger. Any womonger Amen. among sister love waiting, a sister love waiting, and we want to pray for that sister. She wrote to me tonight and she also sent it to Pastor Shagon, and then we want to pray for her. According to her, she even says that my husband is currently with a strange woman. We currently, currently is with his right now. I say right now, I was chatting her. It's a sister that I've been chatting with her before now at this time for an issue. And now she's sending me this message telling me that the husband is with a strange woman as we speak. We want to pray right now that the power of the Holy Spirit we bring a supernatural conviction upon that man. Have you have Amen. you seen the power of conviction before? Have you seen Amen. a man on that conviction before? Have we heard oh, stories of people on that conviction? You cannot God eat. You cannot if you eat, it will not satisfy you. If the strange woman will become like poison to you, everything in this might not be satisfied. You will not satisfy. Let oh, mighty the God, God, the Lord, 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 that will be a total division between the, the between the husband of our sister and that strange woman, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, I ask you, my Father God, Lord, arise tonight in the greatness of your power. Begin to bring a division, oh God, a demarcation between the two of them, my Father, once again, oh God, let the Spirit of God begin to bring condition upon the heart of the husband, oh God. That is covering this man's spiritual sight. I tear it up now in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. The supernatural conviction of the Lord as leaders and pastors as we are praying. The supernatural conviction of the Lord. May he hit that man now. In the Amen. unity of faith. Man, Amen. lose your peace now. Lose your peace. 
whatever satisfaction you are doing from that strange woman, let us Father God, oh God, once again, we stand upon your word that cannot be. Oh Lord, it is written in your word, oh God. He said, if two of us shall agree on earth as touching anything that we shall ask of you, Father. And so, God of heaven, we are in agreement now. We are in agreement, oh God, concerning our sister's matter, oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm asking, oh God, for that supernatural conviction to come upon the heart of that sister, I mean, upon the upon the husband of our in sister, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let that mighty supernatural conviction come upon the heart of the husband. Right now, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, Father, take away his peace now, oh God, by your spirit and power. Begin to remove his peace, oh God. Take away his peace, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, prevail over his spirit, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, do it, O oh God of heaven, by your spirit and power. Amen. Is only Pastor Shagun that can hear me? In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I think okay. they, they need to, they need to unmute to... themselves. They need to unmute their, their, they need to unmute themselves. Okay. Now, in that Ephesians chapter 5, now, if you read from verse 7, be ye not therefore partakers with them, for ye were sometimes dark men, but now are ye light in the Lord, walk as children of light. I want to pray in the name of Jesus Christ, all our members in the church, our own children, we walk as children of light. How will it be that your year of a pastor child becoming pregnant, how will, you, how will it be that your own uh, uh, member, and then the children are just going a wire, becoming wayward, and becoming yahoo yahoo boy and yahoo yahoo girl. You know, pastors carry a lot of burden. Not just only their nuclear family, they carry the burden. A true pastor, a true shepherd, is not happy when he sees the member huh? not living right. A true shepherd, I say again, is not happy. He's burden. He's bothered. He's disturbed when he sees the member going a wire. We want to pray. That all our member, those who are not working as the children of life, I have some of them like that, that the power of the living God will hit them. The power Amen. of the Lord will hit them. Those of them still working in darkness, those of them still working in evil, those of them still working in unrighteousness. As many of our children oh show up, God, who are yet to the Father God. God, in the name of Jesus oh, Christ, yes. oh great God. Yes. Immortal God, I ask you, my Father, was again, O oh Lord. Lord, as of the children of our pastors, many of our children of our leaders that are not working righteously, that are work, that are not working only, that are not working in the name of the Lord. Father God, I'm asking, O oh God, let the power begin to hit them. Let the mighty spirit of God, the power of God, Cheer them into pieces tonight by the authority of the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 For the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. The scripture says, Have no fellowship. With the unfruitful works of darkness, but we are to report them. That's the position of our members and our children. Our children will be finished in their campus. Our children will be finished in their campus. They will love righteousness and hate evil. Our members and the members of our children, children of our members, they will love righteousness and hate evil. They will be finished in their campus. All our pastor, we will not have any fellowship with any unfruitful works of darkness. You know, when yeah. you hear certain 
that a particular pastor, then you hear, oh, that pastor at backsliding or that pastor that falling away and not having kind of fellowship with your faithful works of darkness, it will not be in Jesus' name. None of our pastor, none of our pastor will deny the faith. None of our pastor will deny the law. None of our pastor will be slain by Satan. None of our pastor will be slain by evil. None of our pastor will be slain by the pastor. We will not have any fellowship with your football works of everlasting Father God in the name of the Lord. We pray that the hand of the mighty upon the children of the children of the children of the Godliness in our soul, godliness in our spirits, righteousness of God, purity of the Lord, Almighty God. I'm asking my Father God that to grant unto us your purity, you grant unto us your holiness, you grant unto us your righteousness every day in the out of God. We want to be lovers of God's holiness. Oh, the Bible says, Thou lovest righteousness and hated iniquity, therefore, God. Even thy God has anointed thee, O oh God, with the oil of gladness above thy fellow. Almighty God, I'm asking the Father God that to make every one of us, O oh God, to be lovers of righteousness, to be lovers of purity, God, my Father, every day in the Lord of God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father once again, O oh God, Lord, that your spirit will inform our children, O oh God, in their various they will not bring shame to the family, oh God. Mighty God, I'm asking my Father God, oh Lord, that we so protect them from evil, oh God. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 In verse 12, it is the same even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. There are things that are uncalled for, there are things that should not be heard. The children we have will not bring reproach to all. Our Amen. members in the church will not bring reproach to all. In those days, Amen. what we hear is that the members of the church are praised in their places of work. They are bringing glory to God, and people want to employ deeper life members. And then the story was very encouraging. The GS encouraged, and the leaders in the church are encouraged. But what is the story today? And it's like, what is happening? And it's mm. like, uh, Satan has this, has invaded in many places, and things that are head of, things that, are, that can cause a kind of pain, agony, sorrow, tear. In, and then you begin to hear. And sometimes you, you want to ask, can this be in the church? You mean this one happened in the church or where? How can it be? We want to pray. Anything degradable, anything shameful and of reproach, it will not be named and it will not be mentioned around all. It will not be associated with all. Oh my God, in the name of Jesus, anything shameful, anything reproachable, anything, oh God, my Father, in the name of Jesus. And they say, uh -uh, do you know what happened to your daughter? Oh, do you know what happened to your son? Oh, do you know what happened to your member? If I passed away, are you not going to the police station? Your son or your daughter, God did it, God forbid. Oh, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord. Have your righteousness all the days of our life. Grant unto us, Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, our children, Lord, commit to Lord to your hand. The grace that they will live a righteous life. The grace that they will live a righteous life. That none of the members of our family will bring this grace, oh God, to the people in the name of Jesus Christ. Our members in the church, none of them will bring this grace to us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, that to clean up your church, oh God, clean up our family life, also God. Every filthiness, oh God, every all those sinfulness, all those unrighteousness, oh God, in the life of our children, my Father God, let everything be cleansed up by your power, by the blood of Jesus Christ, oh God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Wherefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Amen. Amen. From this thou that sleeping. Are there leaders sleeping? Are there pastors sleeping? Are there members on the platform sleeping? They're sleeping here, actually. They're sleeping here. If you read Thessalonians chapter 5, the scriptures oh. say that they sleep, they sleep in the night. And, uh, and he said, we are of that day. We should be sober and we should be watchful and vigilant. If you are not vigilant again as a leader or a pastor or as a member of the church that's sleeping spiritually, if you begin to think like somebody was uh, one of my son in the uh, in Benidion University had to connect me to a lady who was uh, who was arguing something on this issue. Uh, somebody uh, the, can somebody that is saved be unsaved? Can you become unsaved again after you have been saved? Can you okay you are born again and then while you are going on the road and then you just decide to do a particular thing and then you die and that thing was sinful and all that with that in that you from getting to heaven. I told the lady. I didn't want to use my head to answer all of those questions. I began to show from scripture. We read the lot of scripture and we began to see it and we began to see it and we began to say. And she asked questions. I had to show her from scripture. Many people are sleeping. They are sleeping spiritually. The Bible says, Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead. As many who are sleeping amidst us, as many who are sleeping among us. As many who are sleeping among our members and leaders. Oh God, everlasting Father God, I'm asking, oh Lord, righteous God, everlasting Father God, we look unto you, God, this night. As many who are sleeping among us, oh God, every form of spirit, oh God, like the way we look. Out and pray that they get to remove them out of our lives, so God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every spiritual sleepiness. Every spiritual weakness, every spiritual slumber, oh God of heaven, my Father God, let your power begin to remove everything out of our life this night in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to walk upon our lives, awaken us, oh God, unto righteousness, unto holiness, awaken us, oh God. My God, let what they said. Of God. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Heavenly Father, God, lay your hands upon our lives and help us once again that our life will come alive. Every spirit, every part of our spiritual life will come alive. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, everything in about us will come alive. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. 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 That ye walk prospectly, not as fools, but as wise. Have we realized in verse 16, redeeming the time because the days are evil? It says, yes. See that ye walk circumspectly. Circumspectly. Take care, be your Lord I think it will be all right to say like that. That you are mm. walking circumspectly. You are walking circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Have you realized the, the, the call we are called into as pastors and leaders? The pastoral work demand working circumspectly. I, 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 mm. I'm sure we know that. There are many things that make so. There are, it's not everything we say we talk, we say, because we have to work circumspectly. And even when cases are brought to us, we are careful like we dissect situation. We have to work circumspectly in all that we do things that member will do and can be ignored and can be overlooked and can be, you know, you know, just, just, just forgotten about. And then if a pastor should venture into that, it becomes a matter. And that's why we work circumspectly. We want to pray and say, oh God, make it so for all. We shall work circumspectly. We will not be full. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, blessed God, I am asking my God, let us go to work circumspectly, and not as fools, O Lord, 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 O
out of our lives, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We want to walk, oh God, as dear children of God. I want to walk, oh God, even in the way of the Lord, in the way of righteousness, oh God. Almighty God, I'm asking for the God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to redeem the time for the day of evil. Amen. 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 Verse 17. Wherefore be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of God is. Hallelujah. Hey, be ye not unwise. Be ye not unwise. Leaders and pastors, he said, but understanding what the will of God is. We want to pray. In our own life, we will understand. In our family, we will understand. Have you realized something? Have you realized something? That the reason why some pastor uh, uh, got back and they went back from the Lord or uh, went away from the Lord and became backslider, it was because they couldn't discern the very will of God. There are many families that have brought casualty to their lives because they couldn't discern the will of God. They couldn't discern that they were not supposed to go certain places at a certain time. They go to that place and it's like they dug their grave and they were killed and they were buried. And you mm. find a lot of people, many people think that it's only when we are praying for marriage, that's when we seek the will of God. And unfortunately, they become so unwise in the very will of God for their lives. And then they begin to walk not as wise, but as full as scripture says here. But want to pray and say, oh God, help me. In this year, I will walk according to your will. For my family, for my own personal life, for the ministry you have handed over to me. Can you imagine the pastor walking in the place where God has not called him? Walking in the place where God has not assigned him, just walking in vain, walking in vain, effort in futility. Oh, ah, my God, oh, my God. Help me Father go. God, in oh, the name of Jesus Christ. Okay. Help oh, me Jesus God. God. Oh Lord, we pray, lifting up our eyes unto you. Father, we pray that you Christ, to walk in, in the will of the Lord. Lord. Walk to walk in the will of the Lord, the Lord, 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 in the name of Jesus. In the will to be fulfilled in my life, in my soul, oh God, my Father, in my ministry, in my life, in my Oh God, and if you have your will, oh God, we don't need it to go. We don't want to yield the will of ourselves. We don't want to yield the will of our man. My Father, go. Let only your will be done. I say, I do thy will, oh God, my law. Thy law is with me, unto God. Amen. Amen. And be not drunk with wine, wearing his excess. We know that many of what we don't do that. But be ye filled with the spirit. But be ye filled. But be ye filled. But be ye filled with the spirit. This year, in the name of God, this period, we want to pray that there will be saturation of the spirit of God upon us. Our message. We carry life. Our Amen. counseling we carry. Our we carry life. Yeah. Our everlasting Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh dear Father God, I'm asking, oh Lord, God, oh God, upon our life once again, release the spirit of God, the spirit of God, without the spirit of God. What we what we Lord, our work will be limited. We will not be able to do anything. Almighty God, that on the God, Almighty God, I'm asking my Father God that we begin to release your spirit and power, the power of God, the spirit of God, the freshness of the Holy Ghost upon our soul, upon our heart, upon our lives to God. Mighty God, I'm asking my Father who's giving sight to God, open every and begin to pour your spirit upon our lives. Almighty God, fill me also, O God, with the spirit of God, the spirit of God, the spirit of boldness, the spirit of power, the spirit of righteousness, the spirit of holiness, the spirit of peace. Almighty God, let me take possession of the gospel 
and for this, O oh God. Almighty God, Almighty my Father, was to give, O God. Almighty Father, was to give. We need your spirit upon our life, so God. Open our soul. Almighty God, I will see my father was say good tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, you reinforce us, you baptize us, you bring for us to the In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, ah, God, I must be my Father God. Oh, dear Father God, without your spirit to go. Oh, no, <coughs> can I be for God's kingdom, oh God. Heavenly Father God, I'm asking, oh God, the flow oh, of the spirit of God, the power of the Holy Ghost, the movement of the spirit of God in my soul, in my spirit, in my life, oh God. Almighty God, open heaven. Release your power upon our lives. The power of God to break every yoke in our lives. The power of God to remove every sickness, every affliction, oh God. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father, God, release glory to God in my soul. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. At every point of time, Lord, in Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. In the name of Jesus, that we will not be closed against me. Verse 19, speaking to yourself. We will not be closed against me when I count. We will not be closed against me. Singing and making melody in your heart, Lord, giving thanks always for all things. Now, listen to that uh, verse 19. Speaking to yourself in songs and in a spiritual Amen. song. And they say, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Mm. In my heart, melody in my heart. Now, I want to say this. There was a prayer request that was dropped by one of our pastors is with us now. And uh, that verse 19 says something. It says that uh, speaking to yourself in Psalm, what are you to speak to yourself? Uh, have you realized our members now, what they do? They don't speak to themselves in Psalm. They speak to themselves based on the news they hear. They speak to themselves based on the stories they read. They speak to themselves based on the culture, their traditions. And then so you find a lot of people who are becoming very immature in the Lord. Fear is gripping people who claim to have been in the faith. The stories they hear all around. you find members of our church who are scared of witches and wizards, and then you wonder, these are born again children. And yet they fear this dark power, not understanding their position in Christ. Yet what so speaking to yourself, not based on the tradition or culture of men, but in Psalm, in Psalm. For example, what does the Psalm say? In Psalm 91, in verse 10, there shall no evil before thee. That's that's that scripture, that statement. And then what does it say in verse 16? With long life, life satisfies you. Speaking to yourself in Psalm. A sickness coming to you, you speak to yourself in Psalm. Is your heart becoming overboding? You, you pick up him and then you sing. There are a lot of him that as you are singing, if you don't feel like praying before, you start praying, you start kabashing. And then there are spiritual songs all around. And so we're told to make melody in our heart. This year, anything that will cause us pain and sorrow, that we will forget to make melody in our heart. God will not have to appreciate the name of Jesus Christ. I want to pray right now. I want to pray that the thing that will cause spontaneous melody in our hearts, for example, <laughs> Pastor Rosalia, then you do. The prayer is say that God will said to me and my family this year. Amen. Hello. We are with you. A prayer request here that God will said to me and my family this year. I want to have a better life. That, that prayer request is scriptural. 
That's what God desire for everyone. We want to pray for this God servant. And then number two, I am having a lot of financial debt. Now we read in scripture, and thou shalt lend unto many nations. The GS read it today. Yes. And then our state of Asia, we have combined last week Thursday. I think he read something like that. And it was challenging all that it is possible for one to live a life without debt. The state of Asia made it very clear that you can be so free, totally free. Do you know the scripture actually says so? That you shall learn to many nations and we shall not bow. This year, we will learn to people, we will not be debtors in Jesus' name. Yeah. We want to, the third one is that, that God will establish me. Actually, when God blesses you in a mighty and supernatural way, number three will be settled without wasting of time. For example, if God gives you 200 million now, you will not be asking for number three because automatically you'll be looking for even the government house to buy or government land to buy anywhere because the money is available. Want to pray? God will open the windows of heaven. So, supernatural I we hit our pastor. So, supernatural favor we hit our pastor. Extraordinary Father God, I am asking, oh Lord, blessed God, I look unto you, God. Because you are the God that answers prayer, you are the God that never, never, never fail. Oh Lord, everlasting fathers, I need your supernatural favor, supernatural abundant favor of God. Almighty God, you will say to me this year, my Father God, say to me and my family, oh God of heaven, this hey. year, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, immortal God, I'm asking, oh God, because I know you can do all things, oh God. Father God, I'm asking, oh God, say to me, oh God, and keep me my own school, my Father God. By your spirit and power, my Father God, bring it to pass. Establish me, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Lord, that will connect me, oh God, to my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. 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 I want to end here. Pastor Shegong, I have a prayer. I have a, a verse of scripture for you. Take this and take it as an angel of God. Take it as an take it as if an angel appear before you tonight, presenting this to you in first Peter chapter 5, verse 10. But the God of all grace who had called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that he has suffered a while, make you perfect one, establish Amen. two, strengthen three, and set you are stood permanently in Jesus' name. Luke Amen. Ruth chapter 2 verse 12, for you, Ruth chapter 2 verse 12, the Lord recompense thy work. You are Amen. serving the Lord, the Lord recompense thy work. The work you Amen. are doing, the Lord recompense thy work. A full Amen. reward be given unto thee, Lord Amen. God of Israel. O whose wing thou art come to troll, may it be so for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. After the prayer tonight, Pastor, remind the Lord of 2 Samuel chapter 7, verse 25. Remind the Lord. And now, O oh Lord God, the word thou hast spoken concerning thy servant and concerning his house, concerning his school and his better life, establish it forever and do Amen. as thou hast said. The Lord will do it. He will do it. He will Amen. Do it. May his Amen. name alone be right. of time tonight. Uh, I will be taking the other verses of scripture in the morning prayer. I understand many of you are not able to join probably because of work. Um, from tomorrow, I'm starting from verse 21. That is dealing on marriage very seriously. We have a lot to deal on tomorrow morning. I wish we can start by six or we can close on time, but we are still on seven. So the last verse I'm taking is giving thanks always. Let's give thanks up now for the answers to prayer. That's verse 20, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So tomorrow we'll be starting on that submitting yourself to one another in the fear of God. Why submit yourself and all of that? That is for tomorrow. 
where we'll be dealing on marriage. Please, if you can make it, join us. If you know anyone, kindly tell them what God is doing, we will enjoy our lives, we will enjoy our ministry, we will enjoy our marriages in Jesus' name. Over Amen. to Pastor Matthew. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We will continue in that mode, and then we will look at the small prophets. He has been going along the way. Yes, God sent him on an errand, and then he read, he didn't refuse. He was going to deliver the uh, errand, but the instruction was there to keep. And then the old prophet came along the line, and he was deceived. The same thing with Moses. Moses was a servant of God, and God even acclaimed it. Have you ever seen anybody like Moses that see God face to face? But along the line, just anger. Why? Not Moses anger because of himself. Not he anger because Lord offended him or he offended himself just because of what Israel was doing. And as a result of, as a result of that, uh, Moses couldn't enter the Kila land. We now call upon the name of the Lord. So there's no wonder the Bible say those people who stand that uh, let me look at how the Bible say it very well. Oh uh, Bible now says, so if you think you are standing far, be careful that you don't fall in the kingdom. Say we are for let him that think it is standing, take it, lest he fall. Let's see, for we now call upon the name of the Lord. Any agent of funny in my family, in any area of my life, Father, take them away from me in the name of Jesus Christ. In my place of work, in my in my family, it may even be wife, it may be husband, it may be children. We have learned a lot of God. Pastor, you may have been teaching us about what the children are causing to their father. Call upon the name of the Lord. Oh, mighty Father, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Any angels of money, any angels of evil, any angels of demon, any angels of Santa, any angels of, uh, of, of temptation, that will let me fall and miss the kingdom of God. I miss the faithful of the Lord. Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, take them away from me in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember the small, the, 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 the small prophet. Oh, mighty Father, he is ready, ready. He accepted the message. He is ready to, uh, to deliver the message. He was devoted to the message before the old prophet come unto him. You remember Moses. Moses was so faithful. Oh, very obedient. Even the Bible commented about Moses. But what anger, not because of himself, not because of relationship with God, just because of the because of his love for Israelites. And as a result of that, Moses went. Moses could enter the Canaan land. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon the name of the Lord. In any circumstances, in any situation, Father, I call upon your name in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatsoever that will not let me make it to the kingdom of God, whatsoever that will not let me enter the kingdom of God, whatsoever that will not let me, that will not let me fulfill destiny, whatsoever that will not let, uh, let me achieve my dream, King of King, Lord, 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 take them away from my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, 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 Lord take them away from my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, call upon him. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My dear, my dear, my dear brother, my dear, my dear father, my dear mother in the Lord, you know what? God so loved us so, so much. And there was a day the GS was preaching. And he said something and that was my new, my all my new, where I just joined the deeper life. Very long, 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 long time. Maybe around 1987, 88. And GS was say, say something. He said, why can't you be careful? Just something of $5. Then God wants to show mercy upon you. And as he wants to open that eyes of mercy, he look at your hand 
or it was the time you are stealing or you are taking something of five dollar that is not your own, maybe from the ground, maybe for or maybe by mistake or wanting carelessly, something that won't need to do, to do restitution, very very small. To what must have been the blessing of the Lord, because the eyes of the Lord does not see iniquity, and God will carry His face; He will carry it away. Imagine things of five dollars, five dollars, and disturb the destiny of that particular person. You call upon the name of the Lord. Whatsoever that will let me fall from receiving the mercy of the Lord, from receiving the glory of the Lord. For let the, the mercy of the Lord fall upon me. Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Take them away from my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth, call upon the name of the Lord. For many people is women. For many people is sinning. For many people is lying. For many people is pride. For so, so many people is, uh, uh, is unbelievable. Because they do not have faith. For many, for many people, they don't even know that that thing is a sin in their life. And it has crushed them. It has dismantled them. It has killed them. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Whatsoever I know, the one I do not know. Whatsoever I've been battling, the one that I, I, I'm not, I, I don't, I even think that it has become a besetting sin. Father, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. That will not let me receive the kingdom of God. That will not let me receive the mercy of the Lord. That will not let me get to the kingdom of God. Oh, my dear Father, on my life, on the life of my wife, on my on the life of my wife, on the life of my children. When I pray by the power of the Lord, you take it away in the name of Jesus Christ. Or in this journey, in this seven-man journey, in this seven journey, I will not miss it. My wife will not miss it. My husband will not miss it. My children will not miss it. I oh, I cover everything. Oh, all my family. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover my wife with the blood of Jesus. I cover my husband with the blood of Jesus. I cover my children with the blood of Jesus. God, 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 King of King, Father, take them away in the name of Jesus Christ. Take them away in the name of Jesus Christ. All things that will not let me make it to the end. All things that will not let me make it to the end. Father, I like it, oh Lord. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. <coughs> you take them away from my life in the name of Jesus Christ. And your name is going to be glorified. And your name is going to be glorified. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, Over to you, sir, for so your mirror of us, sir. Okay, sir. A gracious father in heaven, we want to thank you very much. We want to honor and glorify your name. Thank you, sir, leader, whom you have just reminding us of that message that was prayed by G.S. Clean hands and pure hearts. Okay. It's a message that everyone should listen to. It's a very powerful message. 2.3, but we were just talking. And it's a message that needs to be repeated over and over as pilgrim journey to heaven to see that our hands are clean and our hearts are pure. Lord, we pray, oh God, in heaven, whatever the devil will accuse us of. In John 14, 30, the Lord Jesus was speaking, and he said, the prince of this world comment, and he had nothing in me. And in John 8, 46, he asked the people, which of you convinced me of sin? They couldn't, no one. Lord, I pray that as leaders and pastors, that will be able to speak, oh Lord, like Samuel in 1 Samuel 12, where he asks the people, accuse me of anything, and the people said nothing to accuse you of. At the time, Paul the apostle also was telling his own audience in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7, 8, and then coming to verse 10 in particular, and he said, God is witness, he are witness, and God also, how holyly, oh my father, I ask, are these men, men, not that men, they were held by God, and they live for you here on earth till they pass to the end to eternity. 
the devil couldn't accuse them of anything because they were pure to beyond any doubt. I ask both God in our life, whatever the devil is going to accuse us of covetousness or anything, and there are situations of doubt in our lives, and the devil will say, Oh, look at this area, and it's laying hold on us on that area. I pray, oh hey. Lord, that Calvary will avail for us tonight. Amen. Tonight, you will cleanse us, you will purge us, you will purify us. Amen. The way will not accuse us of anything in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Holy Father, we pray that you help us to live an exemplary life. Amen. Life, honor and glorify you. The kind of life that gives Satan ethic. The kind of life that gives trouble to the kingdom of darkness. Help us to be true and true. Only Amen. in the darkest of the dark, only in the brightest of the bright. Make it so in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. That with a strange woman who are prayed, the power of the Lord is hitting you, conviction is coming upon you, you will go on your knee and you will repent. Amen. And that strange woman, the conviction of the Lord will come upon her. She will not perish. Amen. She will not put the ascension slide and end up in destruction. Deliver both of them, oh God, in Jesus' name. And Lord, Amen. we are asked, oh God, consigning your servant, all that we have told you in the place of prayer. Your words said, have we asked, shall you not do it? Have you spoken, and shall you not make it? Obviously, you will make it good. All that Amen. we have asked, do for your servant and do for everyone. Thank Amen. you, Lord. As we meet tomorrow morning to deal on the series of marriage, we pray you solidify our marriages. You open our eyes to see things that we have not seen before. In Jesus' name, we can pray. Amen. 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 Let's meet as in the love by the grace of the Lord for more revelation from Pastor Yomi on marriage. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, our marriage will succeed in Jesus' name. The marriage of generation upon generation will succeed in Jesus' name. And all the battle that is going around on marriage by the power for those people who know, and the one we do not know, God will conquer for them in Jesus' name. Uh, what God called that they are going to enjoy, we not let them miss the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus Christ, including me, including every one of us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. God bless you. We shall meet in the night. Let us pray. Almighty God and our Father, we thank you for bringing us together again today so we can hear more and know more about Jesus Christ. He is our Savior and our Redeemer. You sent him to die for us. You sent him so that he can reign in our hearts and eventually he will reign in the world wherever there is sun. And Lord, we are praying that today, by your...
the Lord will anoint us to heal the sick in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and to heal those that are broken hearted in the name of the Lord. The anointing of the Lord upon every one of us, the power of the Lord, the presence of the Lord, the glory of the Lord in the name of Jesus to be able to deliver those that are captive, captive of the devil, captive of demons, captive of the spirit of power, captive of the forces of darkness, captive of the power of the enemy, captive of affliction, captive of oppression, captive of diseases. The Lord, to anoint us, anointing, 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 unprecedented anointing, supernatural anointing. Yes, yes, yes. Anointing that cannot be insane. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who will pray for that anointing, that the blind will recover their sight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh yes, and that they will pick up the those that are bruised, will be set at liberty. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, begin to serve the Lord. Begin to serve the Lord. Begin to serve the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 2 verse 20, it says, but, but ye have an altar from the Holy World, and ye know all things. And all